Hi there fellow adventure seekers, Michael from Our Epic RV Adventure and today we're going to be talking about a must-have product if you tow a vehicle behind your RV. Whether you flat tow, dolly tow, trailer tow, whatever tow, you need this product. What is this product we're talking about? Well our friends at SunGuard have provided us a tow car shield to check out and you're going to help us check it out as well right after this. You make me understand this place in a whole different So here's the shield out of the box and then the protective cover that comes with it. So we're going to take it out, we're going to install it, show you just how easy it is. Let's get to work. You ready? So it's very important before you put this on, make sure you've got a good clean surface on your hood and your windshield and everything else. Because with any type of cover you put on this, with the wind and everything else driving down the road, it's going to eventually start to scratch. Now I just washed and waxed this yesterday, so it's very slick, so I'm not even sure if this is going to stay up without sliding down first. So we're going to pull it out of the bag. This thing weighs about 28 pounds, so it's kind of heavy. It's very durable. It's um, 22 ounce marine grade auto bra type fabric and water resistant, mildew resistant, lifetime warranty on the materials and the parts. Let's get it installed. So the hard part of getting this installed is to figure out where the top is. But actually that's kind of easy because that's where the writing is. So once we get it unfolded, and as we unfold, we'll just continue to look. If you can't find the writing, you also have these little tabs, you got some green on it and a bungee cord. Those go in the window, so you know that's the top. It also has an opening for the grill. So you kind of know where that is too. And there we go. And it's going to slide down because I have a really slick hood. So I'm going to hold it up. And temporarily just hook that in the door just to keep it from sliding off. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure this is all the way unfolded so it fits properly. It's gonna be a snug fit. These are actually custom made for your specific vehicle. So they're gonna take five to six weeks for this to make and to ship to you. So be patient. It's worth the wait. We're gonna adjust those more later. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the front end. You got the grill here. It does have openings, velcroed openings for your tow accessories. So just make sure you got the front end lined up, which is usually pretty easy because a lot of grills kind of have a seam right down the middle or the logo. And this has the seam right down the middle. So you just line those up and you should be good to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to one side. Doesn't matter which side, you pick the side. And once we get over here, we're going to start securing this better. Okay, all around the car are these little tabs. They actually have elastic on them, so I can pull them out. And they're bendable metal. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull this, and then you're going to bend it over. You're going to do that all the way around. Kind of loose on one side, which is kind of what we're doing here. Just bend it as far as you can. So once you got this side done, now you go to the other side, pull it tight, readjust the top where the windshield cover is, and you're done. Now there's also these little tabs all the way around the front as well. So you can put those in. So we want it tight on this side. And if it's not tight enough, go back to the other side and pull it. And just work it until you get it tight. Pull these out, bend them in. This one here is a good one because it'll help pull it back, keep tension on the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the door. Pull that up. Do the same thing here on the other side. Make sure the it's all pulled up and tight and the windshield's covered. And that's it. How do we do? I think it looks pretty good. It's definitely going to protect. Let's get a closer look at just how well this fits and all the areas it's going to cover. As you can see here, it's really tight. Actually, I pulled that out earlier. So we'll just go ahead and pull that back in. There we go. So we've got the whole windshield covered. Most of the front quarter panel 
definitely the areas that would be hit by any type of debris from the road. You can see it's it's snug, it's custom fit. So down here, if I took this Velcro off, I'd have better access, but that's for my safety chain and for my tow bar connection. Or I can just close it up like that. It actually looks pretty good. So what do you think of this tow car shield? I like it. Now, the ultimate test is actually in use. Now, number one, don't try to drive the vehicle with this on. I know that sounds silly, but I'm sure there's people who've tried it. So we're getting ready to head out, trip to our next destination, and that's gonna be a pretty good test. Well, that was an easy install. Didn't time it. But let's time how long it's gonna take us to get off. I'm gonna start, go. Not rushing, I'm just taking this off, slowly. Now these tabs that you bent in place, you're going to have to straighten out when you fold it. It'll fold up better, I guess. I'm leaving the top windshield attached for right now on this side simply because this hood is so slick and it's pointing downhill that I'm afraid the whole thing will slide off on the ground and I don't want to get the inside of it dirty. And as you can see, this is exactly what's happening. So, two little snaps. One there. One there. We'll fold these in. Take the bottom and fold it up as best I can. <laughs> Keep it from sliding. Again, I'm not doing this as super quick or anything. Just kind of taking my time. And then we'll see how much time I actually took when I'm done. One more fold. I'm going to put it there and I'm going to catch it if it falls. <laughs> I got the bag, which I've completely covered. So a minute and 50 seconds is how long it took me to get take it off. And this slick hood with the downward slope is helping me put it in the bag. And we're done. All right, moment of truth time. We're getting ready to travel. Got a nice clean Equinox here. Put the cover on hit the road, we're going to drive for about an hour and let you know how it holds up. They just cheered because we arrived. <laughs> if you didn't hear that. Alright, made an hour down the road, we're right at our campsite. Awesome campsite by the way, can't wait to show you that campground review. Tow car shield did the job. It looks good. So now we're going to disconnect the car, take this off, and enjoy our nice Sunday afternoon. And yeah, 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 I know it'd be a lot easier if I just disconnected the car, but I just want to show you that you can take this off and on. With the car still hooked up to the tow. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the tow car shield or any other SunGuard products, leave us a note in the comments down below and we'll do our best to get them answered for you. Again, great product, American made. And if you want to help us help Christian-based veterans charities all over the country, look in the description below at the different ways you can help, including becoming a YouTube or Patreon member. Thanks so much for watching and may your next journey be an epic adventure.